Hello friend, listen with love and let your life speak of peace, equality, simplicity and truth. When I took Faith and Practice from the library bookshelf to read for the first time, I saw that there were some other Quaker books beside it two of which were by Geoffrey Durham, Being a Quaker, A Guide for Newcomers and The Spirit of the Quakers. Aha, I thought, perfect for a newbie like me. I read Being a Quaker alongside Faith and Practice, flicking between the two. The following quote from the book is what the Quaker testimonies of peace, equality, simplicity and truth mean. Each is a pinch on the individual conscience, a religious imperative for each person, a response to what they consider, as a woodworker might say, to be out of true. For me, Testimony is the place in our lives where our experience of God's love and truth catches on the everyday assumptions, frameworks and values of the world around us, demanding our attention and often our action. It is the place where God's kingdom breaks through into the world the way it is, opening the possibility and the imperative for change. The Spirit of the Quakers is a compilation of Quaker quotes and writings from the society's beginnings in the mid 17th century to the present day. Here's a quote. Every stage of our lives offers fresh opportunities Responding to divine guidance, try to discern the right time to undertake or relinquish responsibilities without undue pride or guilt. Attend to what love requires of you, which may not be great busyness. Both books are highly recommended by me. I knew Durham from my childhood where he appeared on TV as the Great Soprendo, a humorous family focused stage magician with the catchphrase Piff Paff Poof Magical. I will now leave you with a clip of Jeffrey performing as the Great Soprendo. Until next time, as always. Happy seeking. I invented the whole thing in about 30 seconds in the middle of the night. This trick is called the illusion of the torn newspaper. Now, it's called an illusion because I never, ever tear the newspaper. The I suddenly woke up and thought you could call yourself the Great Soprendo and you could have mustachios and you could have a black wig and you could have stupid costumes and you could laugh all the time and you could say... Piff, paff, poof, that'll do. And I went back to sleep. But I never tell it once. You know, people really do things. They see me. They're the newspaper. Isn't it stupid? Sometimes, Stefan, you'll laugh at this. Sometimes they even think they hear the sound of newspaper being torn. But it's all an illusion. It never, ever happens. And I discovered I... that over the years, that if you tear up the newspaper and blow up, what have you do, and then have it immediately come back again, Nobody much cares, but you pause. And the newspaper is completely back to normal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You see, there's the newspaper. There is that page of the newspaper. There is the middle page of the newspaper. There is that page. There's the front page, and that's magic. Thank you so much.